beautiful area, the mountains and the, you know, the meadows and the people are, are lovely people. The clash being, you know, different from the Muslims and in their costumes makes them stand out as being very different. They are the only non-Muslims. Their robes are very colorful and the women are not in purdas. I just came as a traveler in 1918, that's all. And, you know, got kind of hung up on the valleys. I've been living with the Kalash in the same way that they live. I don't put myself any different. Otherwise, I would not be accepted. A few uh, NGOs are working, like the Greek people in Bambre. Such a huge uh, project is, shouldn't be needed, I think. Just, Any development should be done with the people and should be, you know, done from their vantage point. Anyone who goes in from outside and says, oh, the Kalash must have this or they must have that to make it better for them, this is really futile. I mean, that doesn't work. You cannot impose your ways on another people. When I was first time went to Bambra, uh, there was only one Tea shop was there, called hotel, but a small place. Okay. Now it's uh, around 60, 70 hotels, more or less. The bomb has been changed a lot because a, you can't, you can hardly see the Kalash people there because the population is so big. There's a many people come from outside, have settled there, have open shops, and maps and hotels. And I don't think that too much attraction is good for society. Tourism in the past has been you know, used to exploit the people. Uh, the people of the tourists are going to Bambra. There's uh, mostly the hotel owned by outsider, yeah. not the local people. So the income, whatever is coming, is going to them. When young people get a little bit of education, then you know, there's always the I want syndrome comes in, you know. I want cigarettes, I want a transistor radio. Why should some people enjoy these things and say, oh no, you just stay the way you were all these years, you know, you, for you, not these new things, how can you? Who are we to tell them? So. Yeah, there is, there are some people that are coming there with different ideas, but mostly they can say just a dream. You said they came here the soldier of Alexander the Great. Oh God, yes, they do. I mean, Shangri-La, all these sort of uh, names come out. And in a sense, it is an Eden. But of course, it's an Eden for me, from where I'm coming from, not from where they're coming from, because they lack so many of the basic things. I, I cannot gauge what I've you know, done for them, but I know what they've done for me, and it's been wonderful. Any ethnic minority group should be preserved. When any time one of these groups, you know, disappears, I think man loses a lot. Maybe secrets of medicine, maybe the knowledge of the environment of, you know, herbal plants, whatever. Man is the worse off every time one of these groups disappears.